You have no idea how long my dad and I have been trying to find this movie. Hard Target. Hey, pigeon. So Hard Target is about these group of people that want to that buy like a higher, like the the less fortunate to for like they give them a belt full of money and rubies and stuff to tie them around their waist. And they could walk free with it, but there's a catch. They have to hunt them. So if they get away from them, like they're across the city, if they get to the river, like, um, in time, they they get to be free with the money. But if they kill them, then they're not free with the money. It's a bit, for me, anyway, it's a very hard movie to explain the plot without like getting certain details but in the beginning there's this guy running away so but he was the father of a girl that's trying to find him but she's having no luck since they already killed him so she hires his person john claude van damme to help her find them because he um saved her from like a what's it called a mugging so she's like i want to be with him now <laughs> So she hires him and then they go looking and then they eventually find a cart with the um, father's stuff and then there's a poster for like a ad for or something and then they go to the the person that gave, that gives out these ads and then he's like I don't know who the, I don't know who he is and then the The guy from the mummy, the actual mummy, Imotip. I have no idea what his real name is. I'm just gonna call him that or the mummy. The, and then the mummy shows up like actually like, staring at them like all cool. So I'm like, oh, that's the bad guy. And I already knew he was the bad guy since they showed him in the beginning. The fight scene in like the, ma not the mansion, but like in an abandoned building it was cool. It reminded me a lot of Face Off, but this movie came out before Face Off. When like, the guy is right here, and then there's another guy, like, right here with a gun, and then they were, they were separated by a wall, and then they turn around, and then they shoot each other. But not, they didn't hit each other. <laughs> that gave me a lot of Face Off vibes, even because I saw Face Off first, but, and then this one came out first, like I said. So, Face Off may have been inspired by it, but Face Off used it differently. But it's still like they turn and shoot each other. So overall, I think this is one of his way better films. But, I don't think I had anything that I didn't like. I mean, I, I didn't absolutely love the movie, but I didn't have any issues with it. Oh okay, yes, I saw the one thing that, it's not necessarily I didn't like, but I found, whoa, this is so cool. But I don't think it'll ever happen. So when there's like a car coming to John Claude Van Damme, he was riding a motorcycle. I guess that's riding a motorcycle. And then he jumps on the actual thing he was sit on. And then he's like balancing himself out. Like, out? He's balancing himself. And I'm like, whoa, that is so cool. But I don't think anyone can do that. I mean, yes, I, I do think people can do that. But that is like action movie stuff. So, have you seen the movie? Do you agree with me? Do you not? I like the movie, alright? So, goodbye.